Hello and welcome to Get Crafty for Tuesday, May 26th. Uh, my name is Tom Maynard. I'm the Impact Manager for the Great Lakes Children's Museum. I'm going to be your host. This is actually the first session of our new subscription service called GLCM Stream. Uh, and that's going to give you access to live sessions like this, including arts and crafts, science exploration, sessions on how to help kiddos learn and grow. Uh, we're going to be hosting several live sessions per week and putting videos up where subscribers can watch them anytime they want. Uh, we're going to be lining up some great community partners and artists for some extra special sessions. So I encourage you to check out the subscription for GLCM Stream, which we're going to debut really soon. You can't sign up for it yet, but if you get the email blast, you will be seeing it pretty soon. Let's get right to the reason that we are here. I'm going to introduce Miss Ann and then mute myself so that she can take it away. Hi, Ann. How are you? Hey, I'm doing really good. All right. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Guys... Can you guys see Miss Ann? Okay, I think they can. Go they ahead and can. take it away. Okay, good. All right, well, I am really happy to help do a craft with you guys this morning, and it's good to see you. So let me show you a picture of what uh, we're going to be making today. Whoa, my nature weaving is right here, and I am going to change. Um, a camera here so you can see things that we're doing a little bit better but what you need today is some yarn and some scissors and some tape and a piece of cardboard and a whole big bunch of things that you might collect out in nature for example some pine branches or some weeds or a piece of bark and so now I'm going to change my camera so you can see and we can work on this together so here we go and I hope, I hope you were able to collect some things outside um, there now you can see all right so the first thing you do is you take a piece of cardboard and it should be a piece of cardboard um, that is easy to hold in your hand right here and the first thing we're going to do is prepare that piece of cardboard so that you can wrap your yarn around it and you take your scissors and we're going to make several cuts along one end and we're going to use our thumb as sort of a measuring guide so you can put your thumb down on the cardboard and then do a little clip. Just a little clip on the edge. Then move your thumb, it's about an inch wide, and you do a little clip, and then you put your thumb down again, and a little clip on the other side of your thumb, and you go all the way across, clip, that particular piece of cardboard that you have. So you get inch, and clip, and inch, and clip, an inch, and clip. Then you turn your cardboard around and do the other side. We're only gonna do two sides today. So there's your thumb as a measuring guide and a little clip, then another little clip, and each time you use your thumb to measure that inch. And a little clip, and a little clip, all the way across your second side. But we don't need to do any more sides except for the two. Clip and the thumb and clip. So now your cardboard is going to have two sides, some clips over there and some clips over there. And then we start working with your yarn because we want the yarn to hold in all of our cool nature stuff that we picked up. So here is my big ball of yarn. and. What I'm going to do is start on one end and put it in one of the little clips that I made. I hope I'm not going too fast. I hope you got all your clips done. So see what happens right here? There's a little tail sticking out. So you put your yarn in that little groove that you clipped and then there's a tail sticking out. And then that's when you use just a little piece of masking tape and we're going to hold that down so it won't come loose. Rip it off and stick it on a piece of cardboard. 
just like that. So now we're going to start to wrap the yarn around and hold it in each one of the little grooves that you clipped with your scissors. So there's one, and then it comes around the back side, and two. Whoops, see how it's making stripes on your cardboard? And up and around, and into the groove that you clipped, down the front side, and around that back side, sticking it in each little clip that you made. How you doing? Good, I hope. <laughs> anyway, so there we go. I'm wrapping my cardboard around and around with that yarn, over and under, in each little clip that you made with your scissors. And I'm almost done. Here we go, around the last one, the last group that I cut. And so then I'm gonna to come to the end over here, and there's the back side. There it is, there's my end. I'm gonna cut it with my scissors. Snip, <laughs> put my yarn away, and grab my, um, my tape again, a little bit of masking tape. And I'm gonna stick it down right there. Ta-da! So now there's the back side. I've got it taped right there. I've got it taped right there. Then I'm going to flip it over to the front side. All right, so now you've got some stripes. And here's where I hope you collected a whole lot of really cool stuff to weave over and under of underneath the yarn. And um, when you put it all together, it's going to look something like this. All of the things that you collect are going to be held tight by that yarn. So pick out something you want to weave into your weaving. And I picked this pine branch because it's nice and long and I, it's going to be easy for the first thing that I chose. So when you weave something, you're going to go over and under and over and under and over and under the yarn. So I'm going to start by going over that first. Um, piece of yarn and under the next, over the next, under the next, over and under and over and under, and then it's all held tight. Can you see that? That's what it's starting to look like. It's over, under, over and under, over and under, and over and under. So now that looks pretty good. I think I'll put something else on. And we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna pick out something that's a seed pod. I picked this when I was out on my walk and it's long and skinny too, but it's shorter. So it's only gonna go part way across. So I take a look at my weaving and where I started, I started over that first piece of yarn. So now I'm gonna go under that first piece of yarn. So it's the opposite of how I started the last time. So I'm going under the first piece of yarn, over the second, under the next one, over the next one. And now my little short seed pod is all woven in there and it's not going to go any farther across my board. So I'm going to have to get something else that's a little bit shorter to go across. So I'm going to pick out Oh, let's see, I have a little stick here. I like sticks. So I'm gonna continue, whoops, sorry, I'm off camera here. I'm gonna continue, so I'm gonna go under that next one with my little stick, over, under, over, and under. Ta -da -da -da. And so I've got two rows done. So next, I think I need some really cool, big fat pine branch, what do you think? Yep, okay, so I'm gonna do it again. And I am gonna go, let's see, I went under. So now I'm going over, under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and over. And that went all the way across. Can you see that? And I just keep selecting things that I think are gonna look good. So let's see, I have a piece of white bark. That's pretty neat. Now it's not very flexible and I, I 
broke off some of it already. So we'll see if this works when I'm trying to go over and under and over and under my pieces of yarn. So I went over, so now I'm going under my first one. Under, over, under, over. <laughs> it's not sliding, but it's not breaking. That's good. Over and under. And it's almost, oh, yep, yeah, that's good. Okay, so it's not gonna go all the way across. It's just gonna part way, but that's okay. Cause I'm gonna do some from this side now. And I have another cool pine branch. I love them cause they, they're green and they're pretty and they take up some space. So I'm looking at my piece and it looks like I need some more stuff on this side. It looks like it's empty. So I'm gonna start on this side. And so I'm gonna go, over and under and over and under and over and under and now i'm almost to my bark here and i'm going over and under and over and under and I tuck it in wow that's starting to look better and then i have a great big old piece of fat grass that's a good one to put in i think and that'll go all the way across my weaving and let's see so i need to go over and under just the opposite whenever you start a new row start opposite the way you did on the last row and then you just keep going over and under and over and under and over and under i should make up a song that says over under over under over under over under so i can remember <laughs> how to weave stuff all right so now i have a big old piece of fat grass and i'm really liking it and then um a couple of days ago i found this feather so I thought that would look really good in the weaving and I, I kind of want it right in the middle. So instead of on the end, I think I'm gonna start and do right in the middle and over under from the, let's see, from the rows that I want, I wanna go opposite. So I better figure that out. So I wanna go under, over, under, over, under, over, under, and there's my feather. And I'm gonna finish it off with, oh, you know what? I got a big old pine cone. Now this is kind of fat. This pine cone is pretty fat. So I'm just gonna put it in one of the corners up there and see if I can slide it underneath my um, yarn. It's pretty fat, so I'm gonna go over, under, and I'm stretching this yarn to get it there, but it'll work. Under, <laughs> oh, pine cones stick out and are pretty pokey, but it's gonna work, it's gonna stay. And then over and under and over and under, ta-da, it worked, I got it. See that pine cone, cool. And let's see more pine branches, more pine branches. And I'm gonna start on my other side here. And uh, I think I need to go under. Over, under, over, under, over, under, <laughs> over, under, over, under, and over. And that is looking pretty good. Um, some of the other things that I picked up when I was out on a walk was a big old fat oak leaf. That you could probably tuck in anywhere you want because that would look cool. And just kind of stick it around. Yeah, I didn't really weave that, I just tucked it in. And it, you can do that, you can tuck in things and it'll look pretty good. All right, so I think that I'm done. There's my weaving and I hope yours is gonna turn out good because the fun thing about this is you can take what you want and put it where you want and just remember to go over, under, over, under, over, under, over and hope you have a good time making this and putting it together. And. Uh, Join us again next time when we do a craft together. <laughs> I'm going to go back and change my camera. And thank you so much for showing us that. And thank you, you guys, for tuning in today. We're going to be doing more sessions like this soon. So if you had fun today, keep an eye out for more. Uh, we're going to put this uh, video up on the GLCM stream site. Uh, that'll be either today or tomorrow. I think I'll be able to send you a message uh, when we do it. So that way you can watch it over again if you missed a step. Uh, you can keep track of all the cool things coming up by subscribing to our free email blast uh, that has things from the museum and the community. So there's lots of good stuff there. And we're going to be starting the subscription service. It's probably going to be about $8 a month. And you can get this type of thing live and then also 24-7 access to videos 
like today so that you can do crafts or listen to stories anytime you want. Uh, of course, some materials will still be available without a subscription, but the GLCM stream is going to be a great way to get unique and local digital content and also support us during a time when fewer people are coming through the door at the Children's Museum. So uh, I want to point you again to the donation link I put in the chat earlier. If you're able to support us, we appreciate that. Um, and that's the end of our session. Thank you for tuning in. I'll stick around in case anybody has technical questions or wants to know more about our streaming service, but that's everything that we've got for today. So thank you. Thank you. Yay, you guys did great. <laughs> Do another one if you've got nature stuff left over. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye.